Cars and Culture on the road, this time on the concept car lawn at Pebble Beach, infamous Pebble Beach with Derek Jenkins, the head of design Pleasure. for Lucid. How are thank you, Derek? Thank you, I'm good, thank you. Well, you made some news at the Quail here earlier this week yes. with a new Lucid. Tell me about this vehicle, tell me what's significant about it, what, what it means to you. Yeah, well, it means a lot of things. You know, this is any project at Lucid is a passion project, but this one in particular has been really, really special. Um, Lucid's always stood for luxury, especially in this new EV technology era, um, and we put a lot of effort into establishing ourselves as a technology brand, um, but we always knew there was another level of performance out there for us, and we wanted to show that as well. So Sapphire is our luxury brand, uh, sorry, our performance brand, right? and so we debuted the Lucid Air Sapphire at the Quail. And that's been an amazing, amazing uh, reception so far. So tell me what you really wanted to put into this vehicle. What was special for you? We'll start at the front and then we'll work our way around. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, the car takes a next step on um, performance. So it's tri-motor. Uh, it it's has about a thousand horsepower, right? It's well over right. that. It's yep. over 1,200 uh, horsepower. Uh, performance specs are amazing. Uh, it's zero to 60 in under two seconds. <laughs> A zero to a hundred in under four seconds and a quarter mile under nine seconds. So blistering speed and performance. Of course, the car had to look the part, so we did a lot of modifications. Um, and it's really quite honest, much like Lucid uh, design in general. We get a little bit more rubber, so uh, more tire uh, and bigger brakes. So we uh, added a fender extension about 12 millimeters at the front about 24 at the back to get that extra rubber so we go up to a 265 and a 295 respectively and that just gives it a little bit more aggressive stance drop the suspension and then this car gets a special sapphire paint um, and that's this deep blue it has a lot of what we call flop so yeah, it's beautiful really it nice yeah really nice highlight in the direct sunlight and then as it shifts around the, the bottom it goes from blue to black and that's very dramatic for you know it's a very contoured car and that really shows off the lines and then this car gets our stealth trim so the, the standard Grand Touring or Touring Lucid Air gets a lot of bright work in the nose blade, the chin, down below the door, the, the roof pillar is all in bright finishes. With Stealth, we do it all dark, so it just looks a little more sporty, a little more youthful, and, and gives you that performance message. Well, you've taken a really aggressive stance in the front here. I mean, this, this it's meant to emphasize power, and it's meant to be uh, uh, make a statement on the road. Yeah, for sure. So what did you try to do in the tapering of it? Yeah, so the front of the car gets a little bit more aggressive uh, chin spoiler. That's for downforce mostly, so it's totally functional. We highlight that with our Sapphire logo. Our, our signature script and it just becomes a little bit more aggressive and I think it's that combined with the fender lips and the wheels being pushed out a little bit more and the suspension being lowered the, you know the Lucid Air is a very um, understated design intentionally but then when you get to the Sapphire it's got to have that like extra performance you know and so you see that in the car especially in the front end and uh, man I can't wait to see this thing on the road honestly. absolutely yeah well, it looks great in the lawn yeah. here let's move down the side yeah as you come around the side we do uh, subtle accents I have to point out um, this side of the car today we're showing it with our composite aero disc, right? So normally it's an open spoke wheel. We did it very lightweight, forged, uh, very uh, uh, performance oriented. The problem with an open wheel is it's not good aerodynamically. It's great for brake cooling, it's great for weight and performance, but for range, it's a killer. So we do, uh, every, car, every Sapphire will come with a composite disc. You just remove this lock, put on the disc, tighten it up, and you use that if you're commuting, let's say you have a 500 mile trip, this will help you max out your range, okay. which is another big priority for, for Lucid. And I know you haven't rated it yet on range. We haven't, but we think it's gonna be over 400 miles range. Okay, Yeah. all right. We take the composites into the mirror caps. We have our stealth cant rail, which is a really nice graphite finish. And then our downforce diffuser in the rear, which is uh, optimized for both downforce as well as uh, keeping the drag coefficient low. Uh, in the back here, uh, you've tried to, again, taper it, and, and you can see from the haunches forward that 
this aggressive stance has been has been pulled forward from the rear to the That's front. That's right. The, the rear of the car is probably my favorite yeah, view. Yeah, it's beautiful. Because we get this 24 millimeters per side. So you're basically two inches wider. Right. We go from a 265 to a 295. And then we lower the car. So the car is fully stanced. Like, uh, even if it, for my own personal car, I always like to put a little extra rubber on. This is exactly how I would do the car. And, and it's just great to offer that. Of course, we accent everything. We remove the air logo from the, the lower rear, and it, this car just gets sapphire designation from the back, which Love is it. super, super cool. Accented, in this case, by our uh, bare vanity plates. And uh, you get the stealth trim through the lower as well. Tell the viewers a little bit about the bare vanity and about the bear in general. Yeah, the, you know, we put a lot of um, stake in the fact that we're a California company. We're proud of that. And of course, the uh, California Grizzly is on the flag. And so we've kind of built off of that. It's, it's symbolic of uh, kind of our California roots. There's also a sustainability story there that we're proud of. You know, I mean, uh, sadly, the Grizzly is extinct. Right. Yeah. And so uh, we've decided to adopt that as, our, as a, one, of, one of our brand symbols. Um, in, our, in this case, being this is our pinnacle product, we've made a big deal out of it. Give me a quick tour of the inside here. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside. So the first thing you'll notice is we have a uh, our sports seat. This is the Lucid sports seat based off of our normal seat, but with dramatic uh, evolution. Much more aggressive side bolster on the lower, mid, and shoulder. We have a fixed sport headrest, and then everything's accented off of our Mojave interior, our dark interior, with a lot more Alcantara. So we've done the whole center seat in Perf Alcantara. That's good for cooling, but it's also good for grip. It helps keep you in the seat, uh, coupled with the bolsters. Um, we've accented everything in our sapphire stitch. That makes its way onto the steering wheel. So the steering wheel is also Alcantara, um, which again is really good for grip. Gets the accent stitching, accent stitching through the uh, floor mats, special um, sill plates, and there's even a few little accented blue bears. Uh, on the back of the seats just to kind of wrap it all together. Uh, but it just brings the level of sportiness up a notch. Still an evolution of Lucid Air interior. We didn't feel the interior needed a dramatic change, just a uh, subtle accent. You've got to be immensely proud to have this vehicle sitting here on the concept lawn at Pebble Beach. I mean, you're surrounded by Hennessy's and Maserati's and Porsche's and it, like, here's Lucid. Yeah. It's got to be amazing. I mean, it is. You know, the concept lawn is a, is a true honor. This is every year. I've been coming to Pebble Beach since I was in my early 20s. And this is, as a designer, this is the first stop, right? This is where you come. It's always where you see stop. the latest. Yep. And it's, uh, there's never a, a dull moment. Obviously, having Lucid Air here in this special time, you know, everybody's pushing for electric. Um, I'm proud of the design of our car. I'm proud of our performance, our efficiency, and uh, it's just a real highlight for us. Well, well done. Congratulations. I appreciate you it. You made it. Thank you so Derek much. Jenkins. Thank you. Thank Pleasure. you so much. Thank Cars you. and culture on the road. We'll see you again next time.